Your Ascension journey is going to be filled with absolute magical moments, magical times, things that are just out of this world. So, so exciting, so, so beautiful. But it's also going to be filled with the lower parts, the dense emotions as they come up. They're going to cause you to experience almost a spiritual depression or even a dark night of the soul. That is all part of this journey. It is normal. In this video, I'm going to explain to you why that happens and what you can do to help navigate through that. So I don't care how long you've been on this path, how long you've been doing the energy work and the energy healing, you're going to experience days where you're going to feel really, really low, really, really down. Your vibration's going to drop and you may ask yourself, well, what the heck is happening? Did I screw something up? Did I mess something up? Am I not doing something right? Am I going backwards? These are all normal thoughts and it's important to remember that your ego is bringing up this, these thoughts, right? And they're familiar to you, so it can be very easy to identify with these thoughts and actually hang in a lower vibrational state for a longer period of time. It could be days, it could be weeks, it could even be months. So this happens because as we navigate this journey and we create space in our body, you do breath work. If you've been doing the breath work videos on this channel, you know the experience of breath work and how that can release dense energy as we get these activations and these downloads. Your DNA activates, that can release dense energy. As you're going on this path and your frequency is rising, you need to create space within your body. Meaning all of the trauma, all of those experiences, all of those stories that you've chosen to believe about yourself and about reality when you were younger, some of this stuff could go back ancestral, generational lines, even parallel realities happening can bleed through and you could experience this dense energy and that's just a normal part of the process but this energy needs to be processed it needs to be felt so all of this amazing work you've been doing with yoga and breath work and grounding and maybe modifying your diet and staying away from substances and things like that that's all fantastic but that leads to the space within your body to be able to allow these unprocessed traumas to come up. Now, how do we process trauma, right? We actually need to feel this stuff. This energy comes up and we need to feel it. The reason it's been subconscious or unconscious is because we have chosen on some level to not want to experience it because it's painful, because it doesn't feel good. And your ego will want to distract you from experiencing this dense energy because it wants you to, to be safe or to feel safe. So it's only natural that in order to create more space within your body so that you can ground and integrate your light, your higher self, your higher frequency energy, you need to create the space. And the way we create the space is by releasing stuck or dense energy. And how do we do that? We could physically create space within the body by breathing into the various chakras, breathing into the tissue, breathing and expanding the areas where we're feeling tight, where we're feeling tense, where we're feeling pain. Your body will show you where those areas are. That represents density. So when we could get in there and focus consciousness into those areas, what happens is the tissue actually starts to breathe. It starts to expand and the tightness the dense energy that it's been holding on to will be released. Now that will activate within you and it will activate in your field, which means you may experience some triggers or some traumas. That is a normal part of the process. That's how we experience the dense energy. That's how we process these emotions that have been unconscious for years and years and years. Now, a lot of times, you're going to want to turn away from that. You're going to say, oh, I must be doing something wrong, or, or I want to distract myself. That's too painful. I don't want to feel that. That's like coming up to a huge brick wall and seeing no way through it, turning around and going back to where you came from. That's not what we're here to do. We're here to navigate through that wall. And the interesting thing is, when you finally decide to become the observer of these emotions, to become the observer of your mind and allow yourself to feel the heaviness, to feel the density and work to get present in that moment and connect with higher frequency energy like love and compassion, gratitude, abundance. 
that brick wall that's been stopping you from moving forward will start to dissolve. It will simply start to vanish. vanish. The barrier is created by you, and it's created by your choice to not face the darkness within. We need to love all aspects of ourselves, all of these these fragments, these soul aspects, all of these wounded aspects just want to be loved. They're trying to become conscious so that we can shine the light of consciousness on them and bring love into the mix that allows them to come back in and we become more whole. It's like gathering little fragments of your soul's energy and bringing it back in. So we are integrating our energy and becoming more whole. When we choose to turn away from that because it just feels too painful, we're leaving a part of us separate, separated. So we're not operating as a more whole aspect of ourselves. The more whole we become by gathering up all of these fragments, these traumatized, wounded aspects of us, the more our frequency rises. The more you start to be able to get in tune with the limitless you, with the multidimensional you, and the more the energy gets up here into the higher chakras, into the heart, to the throat, into the third eye, and into the crown. You could start to have these amazing manifestation experiences, multidimensional experiences, starting to tune into your guides, starting to tune in more to your intuition and your higher self, even deceased relatives, those that have moved on from this earthly plane, but whose energy is still there whose consciousness is still there, and you can bring that into your experience by raising your vibration and tapping into these higher frequency bandwidths. That's how we get to higher frequency timelines. So it is so important that you maintain, this is a universe of motion, forward momentum and forward motion in your healing journey. Even when you encounter that brick wall, that heaviness, I can't, I don't want to feel this, I can't get past this, I feel like I can't move forward. I've done something wrong. I'm sliding backwards. It is so important to keep that forward momentum going in those situations. And how do you do that? You get present in the moment. You detach from the thoughts. You allow yourself to feel whatever it is is there, the heaviness, and you allow yourself to just observe your mind. Allow your mind to do its thing. The more you create space, the more you bring it back to the body, the more you focus on your breath, the mind is going to start to quiet down. It's going to lose that energetic charge. You're going to gain more control over how you feel. Instead of giving that power to your ego, you're going to take that power back. You're going to become empowered, right? That's moving energy through your lower chakras. You're going to feel safe. You're going to feel secure. You're going to feel confident. You're going to feel empowered, right? Your mind is always going to do that thing. It it creates thoughts based on what it knows, what it's experienced. Don't try to change that. Don't try to resist that. Just learn to create that space using your breath. You could do yoga. You could go ground. You could meditate. Whatever works for you, creating that space and allowing your mind to do its thing gets you out of that fight back and forth, right? Gets you out of that distractedness. Like, I have to change something about me. I don't like the way I feel. When you do that, you're not accepting how you're feeling in the moment. Remember, your higher self wants you to experience these dense emotions. Why? Because they represent energetic blockages. Again, areas in your body that your higher self is trying to move into but can't because it that space is filled with energy that is just vibrating so slowly that it can't move in there. Your higher self is high-frequency light. It's love. So it's showing you where these blockages are and how do we experience the showing us of what where these blockages are? We could have discomfort in the body or we could experience the heavy emotions or a lot of times you'll experience both. That's when the thoughts are going to come up of I'm doing something wrong, I'm going backwards, this isn't working, I'm never going to get out of that. These thoughts are normal, allow them to be. Keep yourself moving forward. Keep that forward momentum. Have the presence of mind, the awareness to bring it back in here. Take control over what's happening in here in the moment 
How do we do that? You do that by controlling your breath. Start focusing on your breath. Start moving it in. Be aware of what's happening in your body and breathe into those spaces that just feel tense and feel tight. I can assure you, once you create that space, you're going to be able to perceive in your body where that stuck energy is. Work through that. Allow your high-frequency light to move into these spaces, and you're going to notice that your ego is going to start to pull back. So instead of fighting it, shift your focus and bring it inward. That is a game changer. You're going to go through these periods of darkness. I see it with people that I work with all the time. And a lot of times it's that big brick wall. They don't see any way through and they get inside, they start working, and then the wall tends to vanish. Doesn't mean that another wall is not going to pop up in the future, but the more you get inside, the more you show your body a new state of being, a higher frequency state connected with love and compassion and these higher frequency emotions, the easier it's going to be in the future for you to simply remove that wall when it comes up. If you want more information on how I can assist you with this process, you can schedule a 15-minute call with me. There's a link in the description below.